posted the No Face Movement, and it's January the 2nd, 2013. I'm bringing warnings and watches in space weather and RSOE for January the 2nd to January the 6th, 2013. Either you're watching this on the No Face Movement channel or on Astrology and Astronomy. All right. And this is the meteor shower as you look up into the sky for the annual quad. And it's heavily coming out of Leo right here. You can see as many as 100 an hour between 5 a.m., 4 a.m. to 5 a.m., January 3rd, Thursday morning. And all night you can see about maybe 10 to 20 an hour. All right. And then he moves up to 20 to 30, then around 4 to 5, you get the idea, all the way up to 100 an hour. That's where it's at, quad. It's a comet fragment, all right? But as you know, we're entering the central galactic plane. So all these comet fragments that we're seeing, all these asteroids for the past couple of years, uh, meteorites, um, is just getting ripped right through uh, our uh, galaxy. Uh, we're seeing a lot more asteroids coming out the Oort cloud or the uh, asteroid belt. All right. It's from the gravitational pull of the central galactic plane. As the central galactic plane is pulling on our sun. That's why we're in solar maximum. Right now, we this is breaking news. We got outbreak on sunspots. So I'm going to get to warnings and watches on the sunspots. AR 1636 could produce a mild M class C to M class solar flare. 1639 could produce a C to mild uh, M class solar flare. 1638, 1640 could produce an M to a top rank X class solar flare. And it could be a filament sun flare. Could erupt at the same time. 1641, as you can see, you see the two little red dots. This sunspot is going to grow within the next few days. It'll look like these sunspots. Same with 1642. 1642 out of all four of these is going to be the biggest as it grows. And you can see more white spots, spots coming on the uh, western limb of the sun. About to come over this way. We're about to see an outburst of sunspots. Right now we got six sunspots and growing. Like I said, December 21st, we enter solar maximum. On that day, on the other side of the sun, you can see all the solar, solar flares all around the sun erupting. These are the same sunspots that erupted those solar flares about to come on our side of the sun. I put out warnings and watches last week for this event, so they're in progress. 1640, 1638, X-class solar flares, 1641, 1642, M-class, 1639, 1636, C, to lower mild uh, M-class solar flares. All right, like I said, we got that uh, me the first meteor shower of 2013. It's from a common fragment. From 2003 EH1, as many as 100 meters an hour near polar layers. All right. Um, two days ago, northern sunspot AR1640 was vis was barely visible. That's this. So it was looking less than this. It was looking like that that little white spot. All right. And it grew. Alright. And it's grown. So let's watch that real fast. It's right there. You can see how big it got. You can see this one's grown. We got more coming on the side. Alright. There's no large coronal holes at a second. But within the next day or two, this right here in the middle, well, almost in the middle, it's going to become a corner hole. So I got warnings and watches that you're going to see on the 6. All right. This is going to grow. All right, let's get to RSOE. Warnings and watches. And we ain't got nothing to worry about, no near-Earth objects for this month. But on February the 15th, we do got um, DA-14, 2012 DA-14. So we're going to do some more research on that. All right. Let's see all the super volcanoes active in the past two days. 
January 1st, 2013, Sanatorium Volcano. January 2nd, today, 2012, State of California, Long Valley Cauldron. It's every day or every other day. It's really active. All right. And that's all for January. All right. We had uh, December 30th, Italy, Camp Figra, and then both Yellowstone and Island Park Cauldron. United States, one Island Park Cauldron, Idaho, and Yellowstone in Wyoming, both active on December 28, 2012. Alright, this is in the Indian Ocean, Demali, Demile, um, this is going to become a Cyclone 3, you check that out on my Intel cast uh, video that I did before this. We have no activity of volcanoes right now, regular sized volcanoes, but let's get to North American volcanoes. 4.0 and above, and volcano volcanoes. I'm on earthquakes. We had a 4.3 earthquake in South America, Chile. 4.5 Indonesia. 4.6 Indonesia. We had a 2.3 United States, Alaska. 2.0 California. A 4.6 Indonesia on a volcano. 4.6 Indonesia on a volcano. 4.5 Indonesia. 4.7 Indonesia. 4.6 Colombia, 4.6 Colombia, 4.8 Naples, 4.8 Chile, 2.1 California. We had a 2.8 U.S. Virgin Islands, a 3.4 Chile on a volcano. 4.4 Japan, 2.1 Alaska on a volcano. 2.0 Alaska, 2.7 California. 4.7 Japan, 4.7 Japan. We had a 2.0 United States Alaska on a volcano, 2.0 United States Washington on top of a volcano. 2.0 Nevada, 4.7 Japan, 4.7 Japan, 2.2 United States California, 2.2 Puerto Rico, uh, 5.4 Indonesia, 5.4 Indonesia, 2.0 Hawaii on a volcano, and the one in Indonesia was on a volcano too. Then we had a 2.6 California, 2.5 Alaska. All right, let's get to warnings and watches. All right. Let me move this over a little bit. Um, I'm pulling warnings and watches for the entire Pacific Basin for minor to major earthquakes all the way to the 6th. Up here in Alaska, you can see I'm putting moderate to major earthquake warnings. All right, I'm putting moderate to major earthquake warnings for Russia, Japan, North Korea, South Korea, China, Thailand. All right, I'm putting moderate to major earthquake warnings for the next 24 to 72 hours for Indonesia, Papua New Guinea. Put moderate to major earthquakes warning for the next 48 to 72 hours, Australia, New Zealand. All right. Put moderate to severe earthquake warnings for India and Saudi Arabia. Moderate to severe earthquake for entire Middle East. Moderate to severe earthquakes for Spain, France, Italy, Germany, Poland, Ukraine, Yugoslavia, Turkey. For until the 6th. Alright. And I'm putting red alerts on all the super volcanoes in the old world. In Europe, Asia, Africa, Australia. Alright, I'll put moderate to severe earthquakes for Greenland and Iceland. All volcanoes in Greenland and Iceland are on red alert. Definitely the ones, super volcanoes in Italy and Greece. Alright, I'm putting warnings for moderate to severe earthquakes for the west coast of Canada, east coast of Canada. I'm putting moderate to major earthquakes for the next to the six. On the uh, west coast of the United States of America, red alert for all volcanoes in North America. Alright. Put moderate to severe earthquakes for New Madrid fall line. Put moderate earthquakes warnings for the east coast of the United States of America, including the Caribbean. Moderate to severe earthquake for Central America. Moderate to major earthquakes for Venezuela, Colombia, Brazil, Peru, and Chile. In Argentina. Alright. I'm pulling a moderate to major earthquake though. For the next 24 hours. In Colombia. 
Chile, Bolivia, and Peru. All right. I want everyone out there to be prepared, have bug out king in your home, and your place of business, and your car. You never know when a national disaster or catastrophic event could happen. We got a lot of breaking news coming up. Check it out, No Face Movement. And you could also uh, check this out on my new channel, Astrology and Astronomy. Please follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Blogspot. Please rate, subscribe, and comment. And definitely subscribe to Astrology and Astronomy as we're about to give you, starting next week, more in depth looks in the book causes. And I'm going to do a whole different kind of weather for that channel. This is the movement, movement, movement to next time facing off.